Well, salutations, kindred spirits, greetings, and welcome back to another weekly Wednesday magic lesson. And this one should be interesting as I've compiled a list of ways ways to reveal the top card yep ways to reveal the top card and i think i have a good list here something that should appeal to both the beginner and the advanced student let's not waste any time we'll get started with a lesson from the professor himself Guy Vernon, who taught us in the Vernon Chronicles, The Lost Inner Secrets, he taught us the importance of creating some tension, some drama, before revealing that top card. So that's lesson one, and if you learn nothing else today, learn not to step on the moment. When you're turning over a card, don't just, there's your card, don't just turn it over. Build a little drama, build a little tension, get your spectator interested in that reveal. And hey, if you learn nothing more than that today, your lesson and time has been well spent. And with that in mind, here's five flashy ways to reveal the top card. Let's pan down. So speaking of Di Vernon, let's get started with a couple of items from the professor himself. As published in The Inner Secrets of Card Magic, authored by Lewis Ganson, you'll find a section called Novel Knowledge. Within this section, Ganson explains Vernon's method for turning over the top card, as he describes it as artistic, aesthetically pleasing. It's a very simple action, just thumbing over the card, pinching it at the corner between your thumb and first finger. Ganson recommends the thumb for this action. I'm gonna suggest the second finger moving up and then clipping that card to revolve it face up. The first finger then moves beneath and turns the card face down. It's not a crazy visual, but it is, you know, aesthetically pleasing. More importantly, I think this just gives a look at the mindset of Di Vernon putting the importance on this moment, and that's what's worth noting. Now, I know you're here for the flashy stuff, and hey, if you want that, you can just go further on in the book where Di Vernon explains the Chinese second deal. Now, that wasn't a second deal. This is the deal he explains before the second deal. It's just thumbing the top card forward, using your forefinger to pull down, and you can either pull it beneath the deck, which is a nice way to control this flourish, and you can place the card wherever you'd like to, or with a little, a little more tension, you can pop the card onto the table. And, this is the Chinese second deal, as described in Di Vernon's Inner Secrets of Card Magic. This classic revelation is not only flashy, it's also easy as the card appears to turn over by itself. It's based on science, yes, science, air pressure, as the card actually starts side jogged, hidden by your fingers. When you throw the deck down, the card will revolve 180 degrees. So again, as I take the deck into the hand, my thumb pushes it sideways. Then as the right hand tosses down, the left hand catches it, and that top card will revolve, appearing for your spectator's delight. Here's a fun revelation for when you're doing some tabled, shuffled work. This is based on the slip cut. And the slip cut is something I've taught before. You're cutting from the top of the deck with your left hand as your right forefinger applies pressure to the top card. Your right hand moves away with the thumb and the second finger holding the bottom portion of the deck. Again, that right forefinger is applying pressure. It pushes the card forward perpendicular. Then the left hand leapfrogs over, contacts the top edge of that card. And then these two packets are gonna swivel the card face up in between them. I like to shuffle the deck first, leaving the top card on top. You can opt for a false cut, then you follow it up with that nice swivel action. It just looks like that card appears from nowhere. All right, I feel this revelation turnover compilation would be incomplete without John Cornelius's spring set move. Yeah, spring set designed a one-handed turnover of the top card. It starts by pushing the top card side jog about, I don't know, fourth of its length. The thumb contacts the corner of the card below it and then pulls that card to the left. So the left thumb pulls to the left. It's going to be this corner that's pulled down and that will cause the top card to flip over 180 degrees, landing back on the deck, John Cornelius's spring set. And lastly, but hopefully not least, my tic-tac turnover. The tic-tac turnover, tic-tac, 
fresh breath, you need that for this. Yeah, this was a directly inspired by that Di Vernon article I spoke of on the turn of a card from the Vernon Chronicles. Yeah, I published this in the Tricks of My Trade. To the best of my knowledge, it's the first use of using breath in a flourish way, certainly used to reveal a card. It's pretty simple. All you gotta do is use your forefingers at the index corners. They hold the card lightly. The second finger is key. It's gonna cause a, a break. So what's happening, a breath of air, is a puff of air is gonna cause that card to spin 180 degrees and your right second finger is gonna break it. Just hold the card gently and blow. And that's the TikTok turnover. That completes our series of interesting ways to reveal a top card. But the real lesson here is just use some tension, use a little drama. And hey, I hope some of this intellectual property sits well in your gray matter. We're gonna wrap it up now. I'll thank you for your time. I'll thank you for your energy, attention, and hey guys, I'll see you on the next one. Ciao for now.